What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Uh, this is a video remake that I'm doing because I did a video about Slicky and it didn't come out right like I wanted to. But uh, uh, this video is about Snooky and I did a video about her, about how like she wrote a stupid ass state, a stupid ass tweet, and I got jumped on by four dumbass hoes, aka bitch, dumbass hoes, bitches, whatever you want to call them. And I'm actually put the dumbass people's. Twitter pages in the description box so y'all can go talk some sense into them. Like, don't cyber bully them to the point where they want to commit suicide. Don't do that because I'm not that kind of person where I'm sick of the dogs on them. But, uh, actually, she, I'll show you what she, uh, Snooky posted. She posted, uh, why can't I brush my teeth after eating breakfast? This is May 6th. It says, everything I eat and drink tastes awful. And then it's Christina. Christina is writes back and she writes back and so I actually this is me on May 6th I actually asked this question he said are you for real are you for real that you would ask a dumbass question damn you're you are dumb as fuck you've been on MTV too long now after I said that I get this girl named Casey Green Casey Nicole whoever she want to call her says, says fuck you. She, she tells me says fuck you after just Nikki is the shit Worry about your damn self. Now put I say, well, she's a, she's a fucking joke. So are you. Don't roll up on me if you can't say it in my face. Then you ain't shit like Snooky. Now this is May eighth when I reply back to this Casey girl, and she's wearing a wedding dress. Why you? Why you got a picture of you in a wedding dress? Like you really want to get married to somebody? Uh, but not after today. But. She writes back on May 20. She's like, man, you're tripping for no reason. Why do you even care? FYI, I would say it to your face if I knew you. But bye, bye. No. Like, one thing is, you went got a picture of yourself in a wedding dress. And you talking shit to me over Twitter. Like, you probably over the age of 21, but you're that fucking stupid. Because you want to cyber bully somebody over Twitter. Because I say it's snooky stupid. But I get this Victoria bitch next on the same day of the six, saying, uh, you're a fucking idiot, Afro Joe. Go suck one, jealous bitch. It's a free country, so people can ask whatever. I was like, okay, I give give a promise on the free country statement. I replied back, I says, uh, I ain't the one stuck on Snooky, short bullshit ass. If it's such a free country, why can't I have my freedom of speech, bitch? Instead of her answering my question as a decent human being with the common sense and knowledge of a per of a well educated person, she answered the question with the question. She says, Why do you ask why don't you ask yourself the dumb f why the fucking dumb name fucking name? Like for real, you gonna you gonna talk shit about my name, but you must be that fucking retarded to ask a question with the question. So I wrote back. I said, at least my IQ is higher than yours. And Snooky put together. You're fucking lame. You attacked my name. What a fucking joke. It is a joke. That you attacked my name because I... You attacked my name because I said something about Snooky. And, and you won't let me have my freedom of speech. So the next person is Lala. And she, this la like to me, this la la ho, for real. It says Afro Joe ain't educated. Do some research, twat. I said, damn, you are so uneducated that you can't even talk shit to nobody. Go back to school and learn how to talk shit. Grow up. No, no replies after that. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the uh. Twitter uh, pages in the description box so y'all can do your thing. I'm not trying to say sick the dogs on them, but go talk some sense to them. Don't bully them. Don't stop bullying them to the point they want to commit suicide. But what even you are you? Like, for real, this bitch can't speak English or type English. Like, have proper grammar. So I guess she's trying to say, what are you? What you whatever you are. Like, really, Snooky is a queen of AA, she is, and way more successful than you. And I replied back, but this bitch, she changed her name. 
can see she changed her name. And I probably <laughs> replied back to this girl. I say, Snooki is the queen of AA meetings. I don't think being on MTV makes her successful just a fucking drunk like you, bitch. And she continues on with this whole talking shit thing. It's like, excuse me, how can you take it? take you seriously and say, like, how can I take you seriously if you look up at Snooki as a fucking god she is no god just a fucking god and she continues on and on our replying back it's like she keeps replying to every tweet I put out there and and I'm sitting up here trying to figure out it's like okay she replies to every tweet instead of being an, an adult And just dropping the situation, she continues on. And I like, and it trips me out that she continues on with the whole stalking ordeal, replying to every. I actually just wrote like, she kept like I, I couldn't figure out what was her point, because I this is what I posted on the tenth of May. Dumbass people like da 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 put their are so hung up on a drunken you know, horse like Snooky Girl bitches, and she continues on the next day. Please don't like I ain't the one hung up, got hung up on, got pissed off about someone talking shit about Snook about a drunken horse. You start this drama. She and she still continues on the next day, the twelfth of May. Is still obsessed with me. Can you not? And I could. And I actually wrote back to tweet the next back and see about this whole thing. And she's calling people stalkers. Like you keep replying to everything I say. So how am I the stalker? And then I actually put like this is what else I put it. I say now I see how it is. Every man is a stalker to you. And she continues on it. And I'm sitting up here like okay. That these dumbass hoes won't let one person have their have the right to have freedom of speech. Won't let uh, get pissed off when somebody talks about Snooky. And I say it like this, though. I say it like this: You jump on me for talking smack about Snooky, but you won't say nothing to. Perez Hilton when he does it but he gets paid to do it he gets paid big money just to talk all that shit he wants he can say he quit quit talking shit about it, but he still does but it's like this if he can get paid by talking shit in videos or going on radio and TV and talking all this bullshit about certain celebrities and y'all won't say nothing about it but when it comes down to a person like me or somebody else talking about Snooky, y'all want to criticize and y'all want to sit there and look at somebody like they're, like they're wrong for saying it. I said, there's, like, for real, like, y'all don't say nothing to J Joan Rivers when she talks shit about Snooky or talk or Access Hollywood or Inside Edition or E Network or so on and so forth. Y'all won't say nothing to them, but when it comes to an average Joe person, this, like an average Joe like me, y'all want to criticize, y'all want to dog out, y'all want to take away their freedom of speech because of what? Because somebody speaking their mind. Because somebody speaking their mind. So if I'm speaking my mind, y'all want to take my rights away. Y'all want to be the communist. Because I want to say what I want to say. Because I'm an American citizen. Like I was born and raised in the United States. And I can say whatever the hell I want. Because I'm free master. Because I'm a free. I'm free master, bitch. Because I'm free. You just can't tell me. Oh, you can't say nothing because. Oh, oh, oh. You had to do whatever. Because y'all don't like it because I talk all this shit about Snooky. 
what gives you the what gives you any rights to sit up here and criticize me or anybody else criticize me or anybody else for talking shit about Snooky or tweeting about it on Twitter or posting up on Tumblr or saying something on Facebook. See, it's like this. She's not that famous just because she did the Jersey Shores and Snooky and Chain Wild and did a cameo appearance on in a movie, The Three Stooges, because she is a stooge. And she wrote a book. How is that successful? Like, you look at a lot of people that was on reality shows that came successful. Now, Ted, he was on Real World Hawaii with Ruthie. I thought Ruthie was hot, and she still is. Ted ended up being on in several movies, like Ben Wilder. He ended up hosting the shows. And he's very successful. He's very successful. But Snooky, she's not successful. Writing a book about how she got the pool and how she was picked on as a kid because of her weight. Every girl's going to have problems with their weight. Everybody's going to have problems with their weight. They're going to be bullied. But you don't see me running out writing a book. Oh, I was bullied because the color of my fucking skin. And that's how it is. Just because she's an outcome, like, and second thing is the girl that said I need to do my research, Miss Lala. Let me show you how educated I am. The laws clearly states in the United States that it's against the law for anybody to show off their private parts because it's, the law says that it's actually decent exposure. How come if I walk out in the street with the camera, my, with a camera crew, I go to jail for decent exposure? But when it's Snooky, she gets to do it and won't go to jail for it. She won't get a ticket. She won't go to jail for it. But when it's me, I go to jail and get slapped with a fine for decent exposure and get put on the uh, sex offenders list. But Snooky can get away with it. Doesn't matter if she is a reality star. She, the law should apply to her too. And I don't think that she can just because she was on MTV doesn't mean that she can get slapped with that. And that's how it is. The law is the law. Same as all the way around. Now that's educated. Not done my research. She showed her kooka so many times on TV. And in public places. That she never been arrested. Or, or has been ticketed for it. But if it would have been me. I go to jail. Being put on the sex offenders uh, list. And then so on and so forth. Any Same with anybody else same fucking ordeal in today's society because they see there's decent exposure and then being a sex offender making you a sex offender is because kids are around same with her if kids are around she can do it too and but she'll never get fined for it or get arrested for it but but like i said i'm an american citizen i can say whatever the hell i want but you can't sit up there and tell me I don't have any rights to talk smack about her. If Perez Hilton can say it, Joan Rivers can say it, or any other comedian or actor can talk all that shit about Snooky, how come y'all won't say a damn thing to them? Oh, it's because they got money. It's because they got money. It's because they got fame. It's because they know how to get around the system. What is it? But when it comes down to an average person like me or the next person line, we are the ones getting picked off as, uh, uh, you're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. It shouldn't matter. If I can talk, like if Perez Hilton can talk shit about, about Snooky, so can I. He might get paid more money than I do. But he still gets to talk shit about it, but y'all don't sit up there and make death threats to him. You gonna die because you talked about Snooky. You gonna die because you talked about Snooky. I don't, like, for real. But when it's me, it's, the, it's a whole different ballpark. Why is that? Why is that? Why do I catch the hell? Because I won't kiss her ass. I'm like for real tell me why <sighs> yeah she slept with one guy got pregnant now the guy is engaged to her yeah good job Snooky great parenting alcoholic 
she needs an AA meeting. And that's how it is, man. I have every right as every right as the next person that lives in this country that can say can say anything I want. Don't sit there and trying to take my fucking freedom of speech away. Don't try to sit up and try to say don't talk about her. That's trying to take my freedom of speech away. Don't sit up and try to be badass Billy Gunn. You ain't President Obama. You don't run this country. And that's how it is. Like I'm 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 really sick of people like this. I really am sick of sick of people like this because you know why? Because they think they fall in love with somebody they see on in on T V and the movies to sing and all this and that. That they're their gods, they're like, because that's how so obsessive people are. When they get on Twitter and defend whoever, I could say, like, when I talk bad about Rob Deerdad, people wanted to take up for him. Why are you taking up for him? You're obsessed with this person. But, I don't know, maybe today people are getting stupid and stupid by the men. If I said something about a honey boo boo child being a retarded ass kid, y'all gonna be trying to jump my ass. That's wrong for the con a retarded kid. The girl can't say spaghetti right. She's a child. I know she's a child. But I don't think a child needs a child her age needs to be on TV and y'all think that shit's cute. There's kids her age out there in the street and y'all don't sit there and see them on TV every day. Like for real. Like for real. I don't get it. I don't get. I I just don't get because I don't want to. I don't sit up there and take up for any celebrities unless if I'm cool with them. Unless they, if I knew them in real life, if I knew them in real life and they're good friends with me, yeah, I'll take up for them because I know that person. But if I don't know that person and they're famous, I don't know them. That means. I can talk all about talk all the shit I want about them. It's like yes, when they get in that limelight, when they get in that limelight, that means they are a target to everybody to get criticized. To everybody, and that's how it is. They are a target because they're in the limelight. Same with Eddie Murphy, Paul Moody, Dick Gregory. Ram Deer Deck, J Wow, Sammy, Ronnie, the situation, Polly Polly D, Vinny, any celebrity. Well, I don't call the people just like people on Jersey Show, I don't call them celebrities, but I don't, but uh you know what I mean, that I that there are targets. They are in the limelight and the people is gonna talk all the shit they want about them. Like when Eddie Murphy picked up that transvestite what happened? Everybody criticized him. When Eddie Murphy got Mel B from the Spice Girl pregnant, what happened? Everybody criticized him. When everybody found out that Reverend Jesse Jackson, he's an activist and he was there with Martin Luther King, when they found out he had a love child, what happened? Everybody criticized him. Everybody criticizes him, but when it comes down to Snooky, oh, it's a whole different ordeal that we ain't supposed to talk about her because she's the queen of the Guidos and Guides and bullshit like that. She's queen of AA meetings. That's what she is. I bet when they when she walks in the bar, they know what she wants already when they see her. So I have, I have every right to talk all the shit I want about her, and you can't sit there and, and tell me I can't. You can't tell me I can't. And that's how it is. It, you, you, just, you just can't sit up and try to tell somebody, oh, you can't talk shit about this person because they're, I like these people. And they are my gods. If you die and go to heaven and Snooky is your god, then there is something wrong with you. If you got a shrine to her in your house and you got every season of Jersey Shore and Snooky and j you are so obsessive and you think she's a god. 
do not sit up there and take up for people you don't know. I can understand if somebody was fighting in the streets, yeah, intervene and take up for somebody, but that's a different story from the person that's in the movies or on TV that's doing music. It's a whole different ballpark. It's a whole different ballpark. But you just cannot sit up on Twitter and say, you're wrong, you have no rights, I'm taking your freedom of speech away because you talked about Snooki. You're being a fucking communist. You're a terrorist. You know better than the people at the Capitol, at Congress, that you're trying to take my freedom of speech away because I said something about Snooki. What kind of bullshit is that, man? Grow the fuck up and let me have my freedom of speech. And that's how it is. Like I said, I'm going to put this in the, I'm going to put all these four bitches Twitter pages in the description box. Y'all follow me. Uh, and that's how it is. Go talk to them. Don't sit there and cyber bully them to make them commit suicide. But go talk to them and see what's up. And tell them off that I have every right as an American citizen to say what the fuck I want. Don't cyber bully them today. I don't commit suicide. Don't do that. But that's not me. To make tell people gonna kid gonna go start bullying to the commit suicide. No, I don't do that. But that's how it is. This has been Afro Joe. Ten like a TIS again. But like I said, I have every right as an American citizen to say what I want about Snooky. Do not take up for if you don't want somebody to talk shit about you too. But uh that's how it is. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, CLO Junior 2, CLO Junior 3. If you like what I gotta say, leave a comment or a video response. Share this video with your friends. But you gotta remember, watch what you say and do over the internet, please. Peace, love, and effort.